Hello everyone and welcome to Long's Toys. Have a bit of a weird one for you today. Um, this is the Spider-Man Stunt System Magnetic Action Set uh, from Toy Biz Worldwide. Circa 2004, apparently. Uh, so basically how I came across this, um, thanks to Corey, my RR of the Streets co-host at Frozen Stratus on Twitter, um, I've kind of gotten into this uh, line of Microman toys from around 99, 2000, somewhere in there. Um, they're, they're called uh, Microman Magni Power or something like that. And uh, it was one of the times when Takara brought uh, Microman back and they all had little magnets in their feet and they interacted with play sets and vehicles and things like that. But anyway, so I was searching for those on Mandarake and this thing popped up. And it's just kind of this like little Spider-Man with magnets in his hands and feet that looks to be kind of in scale with the Microman toys. It also comes with this Venom, which I thought was really cool. And it's like a little play set apparently he can interact with and swing around and he attaches a thing on magnets and whatnot. So I kind of did a little bit of research and apparently there was a whole line of these things uh, back in the early 2000s. Let's see if it says on the back here anywhere. And I guess this was a Japanese release because it has this big sticker across the back. And a lot of times they'll take, you know, normal uh, releases and then just kind of put like stickers on top of them to make them specific to their region that they're being sold in. But um, does this have a date on it? 2005, it says. So it probably would have come out in the States a little bit before it would have made it to Japan. So I think what I saw was 2004 in most of my research. Um but yeah, there was like at least, I think, 12 sets about this size. And then there were four larger sets. One where he could kind of swing from, like he would use momentum and the magnets to kind of swing from like light post to light post. There's one with a car. There was larger city sets. And I think you can actually take all of these and connect them all together. Because it does show here, it says special interlocking system. So this is the one I was talking about where you can kind of swing from lamppost to lamppost and it comes with the car. But I think all the different ones that you buy, you can see this one has Electro, this one has Green Goblin, this has Rhino, and uh, I think they all connect together. So if I like this, I might try to get a few more of these. But like I said, randomly found it on Mandarake. I think it was like, actually I think this is right here, 1200 yen, so maybe $10 roughly somewhere in there. Um, interesting so i'm gonna open this up and we're gonna take a closer look all right so here is the play set out of the packaging and uh it's very tall so i'm just going to show you that real quick there is a daily bugle flag all the way at the top it's actually pretty darn tall i have to say um but i wanted to stay a little bit closer to the ground to show off the features and show off the figures and everything so real quick before we do that we got to give a shout out to this uh fantastic four booklet that was inserted inside the packaging <laughs> apparently uh they're bringing action pack powers to a cool new collection of hanes underwear for men and boys men and boys not just for boys <laughs> apparently there were hanes fantastic for men's underwear but anyway this is just one of those like little catalogs you can see it says july 2005 so it's probably about the time that movie was coming out for fox what captain america uh, but yeah, anyway, so it just kind of showing off some figures and toys and role play accessories and things like that. I gotta say, the, the hands and the feet are not bad. <laughs> if you buy the chest piece and the mask, you're ready to go, man. And then there's like this giant st Stretch Armstrong, Mr. Fantastic, so that's kind of fun. So anyway, that was included in the packaging, wanted to show that off. But anyway, um... So here is the Magnet Spidey. Now, I will say first things first, he is a loose boy. He's got the noodles going on all over the place. The arms aren't bad. Uh, the other thing that's funny is, so you can see that he has magnets at the ends of his hands. Uh, which give him rather weird looking hands. But they were covered in kind of a chrome, like a very shiny chrome effect that has since broken down. So uh, in the packaging, it looked like the magnet was kind of spiky in places and I didn't know if the metal was like weird casting or something but it was that chrome had like chipped but because this is still a magnet it stuck to the magnet so trying to clean it off was actually really interesting because I'm trying to pull it away from the magnet but because it's so tiny you know I was trying to use like a paper towel or something or, or I don't know maybe water would work I'd have to try it but 
Um, I was able to get most of it off, I think. And it's still magnetic, so I mean, these are just normal magnets. They totally work as normal magnets, and it's not a problem. But they just had kind of a, a chrome finish over top, I guess, to be more appealing to kids. I don't know. Um, you can see that the bottom are kind of normal still, so I don't know what's going on there. But he's got a decent amount of articulation. The head can move from side to side. He's got a hinge shoulder joint, so that can spin all the way around as, as well as out to the side. He's got 90 degrees, for the most part, in the elbow. Actually, he can bend back a little bit that way as well. Uh, and then he's got just this, I guess it's kind of a ball joint in the hip. And then not really 90 degrees, maybe 45 degrees in the knee. And then he's got an ankle tilt. And then, like I said, he's got two magnets in his feet. So, not bad. Um, it's kind of a cool little figure. I kind of like it a lot. I wish his joints were a little bit... Uh, tighter but maybe some uh, people always say like furniture polish or something that you spray on there can can help it out honestly i for spider-man i don't mind i feel like it's part of his you know crazy agility and ambidextrousness and all that stuff for him to have kind of crazy loose joints just flying all over the place but it's kind of a goofy fun little figure i kind of love it i wish that they hadn't bothered with the weird chrome on the end of the hands like because i don't really care just give me normal metal colored magnets it doesn't bother me um, and now that I've clear, cleaned it all off, it's it's not that big of a deal. But I feel like it could be dangerous if you tried to give this to little kids now, or maybe even little kids... Well, I would assume little kids from 2005 have grown up and wouldn't eat the shavings, but, uh, you know, that's something that like a, a really little kid wouldn't want to play with because it's metal shavings, so <laughs> you don't want them to swallow by accident. But once you clean it off, he's good to go, and he's a cool little figure. Uh, the Venom, I think, also looks pretty good. Unfortunately, he has no articulation whatsoever, but he does have nice detailing, and he's painted nicely. So he's cool, but I wish, even if they just had his arms move, I feel like that's all you'd need. Just give him something, man. Otherwise, he's a cool little dude. Uh, getting to this playset, um, it's pretty basic. And this plastic it feels a little slimy. Like, you know how sometimes when old plastic starts to break down, um, it just feels a little slick. Like, you can see how shiny it is. Like, it's just... And maybe if I just really wiped it all down, it would be fine. It's not that big a deal. But it just... It, it's kind of weird to me. In any case, <laughs> so you can see it says Central Park Newsstand. How this works is this goes down. And then when this gets hit, it flips that up. So that's what that's supposed to do. Also, there's a peg here. Um, but nobody really has pegs. So I don't really know what that's for. Or what's supposed to attach to that. And then you can see here um, at the really tall flagpole. All the way up there. Um, I'm just going to take the sign off just so you can see it. But it just says Daily Bugle. It's a double two stickers. One on each side of this green piece of plastic. And it just clips on... You can see how the railing, the railing, the pole, flagpole, whatever you want to call this, has these little dots. And I'll show you what that does in a minute. But you kind of have to connect this in between the sets of dots so that it'll clip around. There you go. So you can see the dot, the dot, the dot. So you just have to make sure you clip it around those. But otherwise, it's pretty good. Get that clipped back on up there. So how this works... Uh, the reason it has those dots is because there's kind of some corkscrew plastic inside this and that makes it go around. So when you wind it all the way up and then let go, it spins around. It reminds me very much of the Ghostbusters fire pole from uh, the Kenner classic Ghostbusters firehouse from the real Ghostbusters line. That's what it really reminds me of. So there's no way to get it to like stay in place. Um... I wish there was like a latch or something and then you could let it go. Like the firehouse had that little piece you could move back and forth. But what's supposed to happen is he's supposed to latch onto this with the magnet. And then <laughs> as he spins around, he kicks this, which makes this close, which is kind of a neat feature. I kind of like it. The only problem is because this is, there's not a great way to like anchor this down. Um... As he goes around, it kind of rocks this back and forth. And because it's so top-heavy on the one end, most of the time it knocks it over. Which is kind of hilarious. Um, but yeah, so what you're supposed to do... Let me get this set up again here. 
you're supposed to put Venom here, but he doesn't really stand here. Like, the only way to get him to stand is to basically just put him inside the thing. Which, I don't know why he would be standing inside this, just on his own. You kind of have to, like, put his head in first. It's really finicky to get him to, to fit in there, but you can eventually do it. So once you have him situated, then you pop Spider-Man back on there. And then I'm going to hold here just so it doesn't fall over. So there you go. That's how it's supposed to work. It's kind of goofy, but it's also kind of fun at the same time. Again, I don't know why he would get inside and just wait for the door to be slammed on his face, but it's kind of funny. I mean, I guess if you, if he just kind of stood here, I wonder if, like, you can see that there's a, this is probably going to end very badly, but uh, it's too heavy. So he doesn't, I was going to say maybe he goes flying or something, but even if you kind of had him like, like, there's no way to have him stand and actually stay upright. Let's see. Can I get this to work? No, probably not. Yeah, see, the thing is, if he stands on the door, it's too heavy. Like, the figure's too heavy for the mechanism, so... The only way it's going to work is if he's all the way inside and then you just slam the clothes on his face. I don't know. It's weird, but it's kind of a neat gimmick, but just not executed well, if that makes sense. And the packaging makes it look like there's no back wall here. It looks like you can see right through it. Um, if you take a look, you can see how, see how it looks like the there's no back wall, so he's just kind of like standing there. And then it looks like it's going to close on him. Like Even if I try to replicate that, where he's like half standing in here like this like yep i live in the newsstand just hanging out it's still not really going to close up on him because the only way it works is if he's all the way inside and then it works which it's neat like it's fun um really i just love queuing this up and then just like connecting him with a magnet oops come on buddy and then just like watching him just hang around and flail around like that. It's really funny to me. Let's see if we can get it to work with. Can we get it to work with him when he's connected by the feet? <laughs> he just kind of brains his head into it. And momentarily stops. Uh, so yeah, I think there's a lot of fun. Honestly, I think the most fun to be had is to just take the Spider-Man around and like connect him, you know, sideways to your fridge or something like that. So it looks like Spider-Man's just, you know, wall crawling on something. It's a shame you can't really get him into more like wall crawlery poses. Um, cause like he doesn't have that level of, I mean, he's got decent articulation for a figure this small, but if you could do something where like. You know, have him like crawl around like a spider, but doesn't really lend itself to that. So, yeah, I don't know. This is a weird little blast from the past. It's about 15 years old at this point. Um, and I didn't even know about it while it was happening. Because I feel like if I did, I probably would have grabbed a couple of these. I don't think it's like so amazing that I'm going to run out and grab the rest of the wave. Or the waves. Uh, I think it was around for a couple of years. But maybe if I saw another one and the price was right, I might. But I think... It's, it's probably an okay line that I wouldn't sink too much money into, but if you see it at a yard sale or something, I think there's some stupid fun to be had with it. But that's going to do it for this one. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and as always, thanks so much for watching.